All right, y'all, there it go. There it go. I want to see this thing look. Damn. Here we go, let's start it up. bunch of different cities man all right man so let's just get straight to it you dig all right i'm going to new jersey i'm putting my dog in a boarding school because i plan on doing a bunch of um hold on, let's get this little pool real quick there we go that's what i'm talking about but i'm bringing my dog to a boarding school in new jersey it's called shelly's so at first i was about to just fly my dog out there and do the board school i don't know how some people feel about the boarding it's the pros the cons i get it all that but that's what I'm doing, so relax, all right? Um, but my dog's going there. It's Shelly's in New Jersey. Um, I was gonna ship him at first, but I'm like, no, I, I didn't agree with the shipping, so that's why uh, when, he, when he came from Tennessee, I just drove to go get him. I like, plus, I like doing road trips. So um, I went to go get him, obviously. If you haven't checked out that video, go check it out immediately. Look at these dumb fucks, boy. Dumb ass, you know what I mean? trip again i was like damn why don't i do a road trip and then stop in all the cities along the way and show love to all my subscribers who've been showing love to me so i was like you know what yeah i'm gonna do that so real quick here goes a list of all the places i'm gonna stop by and i'm gonna see and uh show love to you know for all the states and the cities i don't get to go through i do plan on doing a lot of um not just road trips but uh, I plan on catching flights and all that. I want to interact with my subscribers. I want to meet my, my subscribers in all these cities and states and all that good stuff, man. So let me get to where I'm going. I'm going to pull over, and as soon as I do, I'm going to let y'all know the list, the time, and the places, and the dates that I'm going to be in these um, cities and states. So here we go. All right, let's go. Let's open this sunroof. Let's run on these windows, and uh, let's get straight to it, man. I am leaving Sunday, or well, not technically Sunday, Monday at uh, 2 a.m. I'm going to be in Chicago, uh, 925. September 25th uh, at 8 a.m. So I know it's kind of early, you know what I mean? But that's the time y'all got to work with, man. That's the time I got to work with so in order to meet, you know, my schedule. But um, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m., I'm going to be at the Bean. All right, y'all see it right here? Hold on. Actually, I'm just had the whole list pop up right now. Y'all check that out. Keep looking at it. Screenshot it. Do what you got to do with it. But nonetheless, I'm going to be um, at that location at the Bean. At 8 a.m. Now, this is the thing. This goes for not just Chicago, but for uh, all my subscribers in every city and state that I'm going to. I'm going to be there for 15 to 20 minutes. If I don't see one person that come up to me in front of that bean and say, hey, tall guy car views or what the hell ever, I'm leaving because I got to be on the road. You got to understand, I'm going straight through. I ain't no stopping, no nothing. So I'm going uh, to out my way to stop. I want to meet some of my subscribers. Oh, yeah, by the way, I'm going to have some merch. I'm going to have a bag full of merch and goodies. All right, now um, bring some cash, cause I, it ain't for free. I'm coming through with the merch, the bag. You know, make sure y'all bring some cash so y'all can buy this merch, man. Um, but yeah, like I said, Chicago, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. I'll be there. If people start showing up and all that good stuff. I know it's early, but if people start showing up, I'm gonna stay for a solid hour, and then I gotta get back on the road. And then after that, I'll be in Indiana, same day, Monday, 9:25, Indiana, Indianapolis, Indiana. I'll be there at. 1230 uh to 130. 1230 to 130. Uh I'll be at the Soldiers and Sellers 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 Monument. So, like I said, Indianapolis, Indiana. I'll be there from 1230 to 130. Soldiers and Sell Sailors Monument. Alright? 1230 to 130. Remember that. Same day, I'll be at uh in Ohio. I'll be in uh Columbus, Ohio. Columbus, Ohio. 
at 4.20 p.m. to 5.20 p.m. All right? 4.20 p.m. to 5.20 p.m. I'll be there. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to be at the Ohio State House. The Ohio State House at 4.20 p.m. Be there. Um, like I said, that's still uh, 9.25 for Ohio. Um, and then after that, I'm going to stop. I'm going to do some other things, you know, kick with some people I know out there. And then what I'm going to do is uh, on 9.26... I'm going to be in Pittsburgh um, at 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Pittsburgh. To all my people out there in Pittsburgh, Tuesday, uh, 926, I'll be in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania at 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. I'm going to meet y'all at the Point State Park by the Water Fountain. Point State Park by the Water Fountain. All the way in the back, you know, right in the front of that Water Fountain. I'm going to be right there, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. All right, so uh, be there. For everybody I just named on this list. Also, Tuesday, 926. You know, I got to stop at Philly, baby. I got to go to Philly. I'm going to be there at 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. 926 to all my Philly subscribers. I'm going to be in Philly from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. The Rocky Balboa statue. I'll be right in front of that. I've been there before, so I'll be right in front of that uh, Rocky Balboa statue. Meet me there, man. Um... Then uh, 926, to all my people out in Jersey, New Jersey, my Uncle Danye stay out there. To all my people in New Jersey, 926, I will be there at 5 p.m. So on Tuesday, 926, September 26, I'll be in New Jersey, and I will be at the Lucy, Lucy the Elephant. I'll be there from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m., all right? Lucy the Elephant, 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. in New Jersey, all right? So remember that. Also, um, what else? Oh, yeah, I'll be in New York. I got to stop in New York. I got I get so much love out of New York, man, so I got to go to New York. I've been in New York a bunch of times, maybe eight, nine times. This probably be the close to my 10th time in New York. So I got to stop through New York and show love. I get so much love through there, man. I'm going to go out my way to come up to New York, you know, uh, whatever way it is. I'm going to go up to New York, and I'm going to be there at 12 p.m. on Wednesday, 927. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, okay, yeah. Wednesday, 9.27, I'll be there at 12 p.m. Make sure everybody there, man, New York, 12 p.m., I'll be there, all right? Uh, and where are we going to meet at? We're going to meet at Times Square right by the Red Steps, all right? So if you've ever been to New York and you know where the Times Square is, you know where Alicia Keys sang her song on them Red Steps, I'm going to be right in front of those Red Steps at 12 p.m. in New York, baby. And then after that, man, the next day I'm leaving to go home, man, so... That's pretty much it. Now, on the way back, I ain't stopping nowhere, man. So, uh, yeah, man. And then for all my people in Wisconsin, man, I wanted to go to Wisconsin, but I would have been there at like 5 a.m., man. I know a lot of people ain't trying to get up that early because a lot of people ain't trying to get up at 8, 9 a.m., you know. But I know if you really rock with me, you're going to be up at 8, 9 a.m. You're going to be a, if you're a real loyal, a dope, genuine ass subscriber, you're going to be there, you know what I mean? But for all my people in uh, Madison or Wisconsin, period, I want to stop through there because obviously y'all right next door to me. I'm Minnesota, y'all Wisconsin, right here, all right? But, um, for the meet and greets that I do in Minnesota, I figured y'all could just come up there, or I might just do another separate meet and greet day where I come through Wisconsin. I got a lot more road trips coming. I got a lot more um, flights that I'm going to be catching. You know, I'm trying to go to the West Coast, down south, everywhere, man. You know what I mean? I, you know, I've lived down south. I've lived over in on the West Coast in Cali. I lived on the East Coast, you know, so, and obviously I'm from the Midwest, man, so I'm all around the globe as far as the USA is concerned, man, and I plan on making trips out of the country, too. Uh, coming up in the spring, man, so stay tuned for that. I'm trying to do all meet and greets, man. I want to meet with and interact with all my subscribers, man. That's just a fact. All right, so I want everybody to go. If you haven't seen the list, it's going to pop up again right now. Look at that list, screenshot it, do everything you got to do, come out, show some love. I made sure I gave y'all at least two weeks in advance notice. What's today's date? Hold on. Here we go. Bam, hold on. Let me get rid of them notifications. Okay, boom. Here we go. Look at that. What's today's date? That is the 12th. So I posted this video today. I'm not playing with y'all. I'm giving y'all more than enough heads up, two weeks to call off work, whatever it is. Let me show y'all again. There we go. Come on, man. No games being played. I'm giving y'all more than enough time to call off work, do whatever you got to do uh, to get there, man. You know what I mean? Because uh, like I said, once I once I make it through here, I probably won't come back. You know what I mean? For a long, 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 long time. You know, so for all my subscribers who can get there, be there. All right. 
But just like that, man, this video's over. Not much really else to talk about, man. I just wanted to throw this video out there for y'all today and let y'all know so that way y'all got the heads up enough to be there. All right. So like I said, man, I'm gonna have a bag full of merch, man. And for all my, you ain't gotta, you ain't gotta come there to buy a shirt. You know what I mean? Come there and show some love. If you ain't got the bread to buy a shirt, then cool, don't buy the shirt. You know, but show up and uh, show some love, man. This is the first time where I've given my subscribers at least a two weeks notice that I'm gonna, cause you know, I'm impulsive. I'm a last minute kind of dude, man. So this right here is a big heads up to me. Like I know it ain't months in advance, but this is two weeks in advance. So to me, if I if somebody gave me two weeks in advance, I would more than enough be able to make that happen. So uh, for all my subscribers out there who want to meet me, want to be out there, want to you know show love in person, man, that's where I'm gonna be at. If I'm in your city, your state, come there, show some love, even if you gotta go out of your way, man. But like I said, man, I wanted to um, put this out there and let y'all know, man, that I'm gonna be in y'all location, y'all city, y'all state, y'all neck of the woods, whatever term you want to call it, that's what you can call it, man, but I'm going to be there, all right, like I said, I'm going to have a bag of merch, make sure you buy your merch, get there early, you know what I mean, because like I said, man, if people ain't showing up 10, 15 minutes, I'm out of there, I ain't, you know, I'm going to be tired, I'm going to be on the road, I do this road trip stuff all the time, you know, but man, it's, it's, it, it takes a toll on you, be real fatigued, so bring some cash, buy the merch, I'm going to keep reiterating it, bring some cash, buy some merch, bring some cash, buy some merch, I'm going to have white with the red, I'm going to have red with the white, and I'm going to have black with the white. All right, and if uh, if all goes according to plan, I have some sweat outfits too, some some sweatpants and uh, uh, the mook to match it on the top with the hoodie and all that. You know what I mean? If everything goes according to plan, but nonetheless, I'm definitely gonna have some shirts. So make sure, like you, like I said, bring the cash and buy some merch. And like I said before too, if you ain't got no money and you can't afford to, uh, to buy the merch, I appreciate you just showing up and showing love, man, for real. Like I said, I'll, at the end of the day, I'm doing this to interact and meet with all my subscribers. I ain't doing this uh, for the money. You know, I'm, I'm going out my way with my family, you know, to meet my subscribers. Cause like I said, y'all went out y'all way to watch the ads, to hit the super chat, you know, um, without me even having to ask. And at the same time, <clears throat> You bought merch, so all my subscribers already who bought merch. I'm making a video where I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna try to do like a live Q and A, and I'm gonna shout out all the people who's bought some merch up until this point, man. So, um, like I said, man, I'm doing this because I want to show love back to my subscribers. Y'all showed me massive love, man, and I just want to return the favor and go out my way and do the same, man. But just like that, this video's over. It's done. Just like that, I'm gonna holler at y'all next one, man. Oh yeah, one more thing. One thing I almost forgot about the boarding school with our dog King is um I wanted to tell y'all the reason why another reason why I'm born to take that road trip too as well is because I didn't want to just ship my dog somewhere like the website could look cool, the people could sound cool on the phone, all that good stuff. But I want to go there. I want to see what's going to be happening. I want to make sure there's cameras, make sure there ain't no dog abuse, no neglect, or nothing happening to my dog. Because if that happened to my dog, phew, listen, man. Let's just not even talk about it, all right? So I just wanted to get there, and I wanted to make sure that the facility was nice, the dogs were treated nice. I want to see the whole joint. Don't show me half the mook. Don't show me a part of the mook. I want to see the whole mook, and I want to make sure that my dog's going to be well taken care of, man. And it's going to be, it's going to be, he's going to be um, tended by good people. You know, that people are going to actually take care of him like I would. And obviously nobody's going to do it to the utmost like how you would. But nonetheless, I want to make sure it's in the same form or fashion. You know what I mean? So I wanted to go all the way out there to Jersey for the reasons I wanted to obviously meet y'all, like I said, for all the reasons I just said. But at the same time, I wanted to make sure that my dog was going to be in a good facility. And that a good facility, and then I knew that for sure I'd be able to see it myself and I could actually vouch for it. And if not, if I go out there and all laying up the par, my dog won't be going there. All right? So, um, yeah, man, I just wanted to share that with y'all real quick. But just like that, yeah, the video's over now. Go on. Pew. Actually, I'm not even done because I know there's going to be a bunch of punk-ass trolls out there who are going to be talking, oh, man, this is first you clipped his ears and then now, listen, first off, let's talk about the ears real quick. Fuck all y'all who thinks I'm a dog abuser because I had to clip my dog's ear. Listen, if or do you get a dude's dick circumcised or do you want the old anteater dick? All right, yeah, so relax. Same thing with a dog, man. Clip his ears. It's a little bit of modification. You know what I mean? Like how you would when a, when a guy is born, you're going to clip the extra skin off his dick. If not... I don't know what you were thinking, all right? Now, it ain't the kid's fault if he grew up and his dick is anteater status, you know what I mean? Because that's his parents' fault that not they ain't do that, you know? Now, you got him out here looking bogus with the with the extra rug meat dick, you know what I mean? But, no, my dog, that's, if you look at Kanye Corsos and you look them up, that's how they're supposed to be, that's how they were bred. That's how they, that was the look that came with it. So, I'm just doing, you know, what... 99.9% .9 of Kanye Corsos do around the world, man. So everybody relax, man. And if you, it, the only people that's probably hate that I got my dog's ears clipped is a person who ain't got their dick circumcised. So who cares about what you think anyway, champ? Relax, all right? But um, what I was going to say, oh, yeah, the other thing was about the um, boarding school with my dog. 
Um, I know a lot of people are going to be like, man, you should have trained the dog yourself, you know, whatever the case is. Listen, I ain't got time. My family ain't got time. We love to take the dog out. We do. We take him out for an hour walk three times a day. So we got the time, obviously, but we kind of don't got the time if that makes sense. All right. So um, the training part, like, is different walking a dog and actually training a dog, being patient. Like, I'm a basketball player, so I could teach a kid how to play basketball. But if you're not a basketball player and you're trying to teach a kid how to play basketball, you're just outright embarrassing because you're not going to teach them the, the the right habits that can transition to the game. All right. So I need an actual real life dog trainer who's going to teach my dog how to actually um, incorporate his training into actual life. So that way he ain't mauling up somebody's face when he's three years old. You know, I want to just make sure ain't nothing like that happening. And I want to make sure that he's uh, trained properly. All right, because with this breed of dog, it's very important that you socialize them. I've been doing that. I've been doing the, the commands, the sits, you know, all the little regular stuff. You know, but um, there's still, I, I'm not a, a dog trainer. You know what I mean? So I, I, I can't teach the best ways on how to train a dog. But, you know, um, for my research, obviously these people can. So I want to go there and, like I said, see the facility myself and see everything in person. And then if I vouch for it then, he'll go with them, you know. But if not, he won't. And now they said minimum four weeks they'll have a dog. Um, but if all isn't well or everything isn't up to par with how they uh, feel like they should be as far as what their st establishment brings to dog training, then they'll hold them a little bit longer, maybe a couple weeks, maybe a month, maybe three months. Ain't no telling. Just as long as, long as it takes to get them right and up to par with um, how he needs to be. You know what I mean? So, And that includes it, uh, obedience training, a bunch of other stuff, man. So um, just stay tuned, man. Like I said, now this is finally the end of the video, man. I'm inside my crib if you ain't know, man. But just like that, man. I'm going for real this time, all right? Bam.